My name is Jonathan Mather and I'm a scientist here at Sharp and it's my responsibility to develop 3D technology for Sharp products. At Sharp we've developed two different types of 3D technology. The first type uses 3D glasses and that's used in 3D television. The second type is glasses free technology and that's just based on basic physics. It's very easy to understand. Glasses Free 3D uses technology of the parallax barrier which has been around since at least 1930. Its key function is to give different images to each eye. So to get the 3D effect you need your left eye to get one perspective of the picture and you need your right eye to get the other perspective of the picture and then your brain will get the 3D effect. If I look from here with my right eye I see just all the right image pixels if I look from here with my left eye, I see all the left image pixels. So to make the 3D image, you start off with the left view perspective and the right view perspective. And to get it ready for the parallax barrier, you need to interlace them together, mix them like this, ready for the parallax barrier. That will then project the left view into your left eye and the right view into your right eye, giving you a 3D effect. This is a prototype mobile phone screen, and it's showing an interlaced image. And if I put this parallax barrier on top, uh, it will give the 3D effect. So we've got a 3D display here, and we realized that you need to be able to switch that into a 2D mode. So we set ourselves the challenge of making the display 2D, 3D switchable. So the way we achieve this is to make the parallax barrier from its own liquid crystal display. So the 3D displays we sell, they have this extra display on top of the image panel. When you want 3D mode, the parallax barrier is switched on. And when you want 2D mode, the parallax barrier is switched to be transparent and it becomes a regular 2D display. And this is the technology that we used in the Nintendo 3DS. So this display looks great on Axis, but what we really want is to be able to look at the display from any angle and have a nice 3D image. In order to do that, we aim to use head tracking technology, which identifies where you're looking at the display from and optimizes the display accordingly so that you can look at the 3D display from any angle. In terms of the future for 3D technology, I hope that it becomes a natural technology to use on all devices like laptops and smartphones. And then the ultimate goal is to make a holographic display. And what I mean by that is a display that shows images which are indistinguishable from reality.